I've got a condition here where my uh, solar charge controller doesn't uh, want to operate and part of the problem uh, is because we had a battery charger connected up to the lithium batteries uh, because I was inside the barn and there's no solar and I couldn't run the truck so the alternator wouldn't charge the house batteries either so we connected up a uh, 6 amp charger and apparently it operates at a little bit higher of a voltage than what the solar controller does and so the solar controller went into a uh, shutdown and so you see the blinking yellow and green light there so the cure for this is to uh, disconnect the battery and solar panels and then reconnect and so I believe that I can um, turn off the battery here with my uh, main breaker and then with the uh, solar charge controller I have uh, individual fuses for each of the solar panels so I will just pull the fuses and that way I don't have to disconnect anything from the charge controller because that is in kind of a tight location and I'd rather not ha have to mess with that but uh, so anyway I'll do that I'll keep you posted got a phone call Okay, kids, so I have reset the, um, solar controller. Uh, Victron Smart Solar HQ20494JMJ5 150-70 MPPT solar controller. See, I've got a ground wire connected to it. And there's my uh, battery wires and all that. And then what I have are, uh, see, four separate fuse holders for the uh, one for each solar panel. You can see it there, I hope. And there's another one there. Nice heavy duty. And then I have these uh, junction blocks here. And they've got a protective hood that goes over them and bolts down. So I disconnected the solar charger and uh, shut off, uh, pulled the fuses on all the solar panels. And now you can see that the light is not blinking anymore. So now let me uh, go to the solar charger. And you yeah, see, no more error code. So, very good. Now, let me uh, set the camera here on tripod where it's probably gonna not help me and just tip over some stupid thing. All right, let's get right up there so you can maybe read this. Okay, um, a little closer. There we go. Uh, let me uh, start putting a couple of fuses back in. See if we start seeing some solar power coming on. Oh, there we go. I think uh, we've got a little bit. The voltage jumped up to uh, 20.8. Of course, it's 4.30 right now on a cloudy day, so I strongly doubt that we're going to see any solar activity. Okay, let me uh, plug in number See that? Now we're getting about six watts of uh, solar power, which is nice. Okay. And uh, I have one more fuse here. And now we 
jump up to 9 watts, 10 watts. So you see we are getting solar power. I've got one more fuse I can uh, connect up there. Gotta straighten it out a little bit. Okay, and let's plug in fuse number four, and we will have uh, roughly 700 watts of power coming in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there we go. Now we are up to. Oops dropped it stupid okay. Let's try and get that plugged back in. Nah. This one here is kind of goofy. I got to go get a different fuse. One last try. Okay, there we go. So, yeah. Out of uh, 700 possible watts, and I have seen as much as 730, uh, we are getting 12 watts of uh, charge. So that is better than a swift kick in the rear on a cloudy day at 4.30 when there's only another hour of daylight left. Yeah, that'll, that'll charge. That'll charge. Okay, so there you go. We just uh, plugged the fuses back in. You see the fuse holders over there? And the fuse holders go into this connecting block. And the uh, connecting block hooks up to this larger fuse block here. I believe it's a 50 amp fuse in that. So you've got four 15 individual amp fuses. So that's a total of 60 amps. And then we got the big uh, cable coming over here to this fuse block. And then this is our uh, power block. And that is between the battery and the other charge sources. All the charging sources, the uh, Orion 30-amp uh, DC-DC charger, that's got a, uh, I believe it's got a 50-amp fuse on it, on um, uh, four-gauge wire. And then this has, uh, I believe it's two-gauge wire on the... MPPT controller and then there's a 100 amp fuse or a breaker up there for the uh, battery so everything is protected and then we also have another uh, I believe it's an 80 amp fuse up off of the alternator and the alternator is a 250 amp alternator, but it's only sending um, maybe uh, 35 amps back here to operate the 30 amp charger, DC charger. So, all right, that is it. That is uh, how I just reset my um, MPPT controller. Very important to have everything functioning properly. Okay, uh, see you on the next video.